This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. We're going to be reading from verse 18 to verse 46. 18 to 46 and I read in Jesus name. Early in the morning as he was returning to the city. He was hungry. Seeing a lone fig tree by the road, he went up to it and found nothing on it except leaves. And he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. At once the fig tree withered. When the disciples saw it, they were amazed and said, How did the fig tree wither so quickly? Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but even if you tell this mountain, be lifted, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. And if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. When he entered the temple, the chief priest and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority? And Jesus answered them, I will also ask you one question. And if you answer it for me, then I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did John's baptism come from heaven or was it of human origin? They discussed it among themselves. If we say from heaven, he will say to us, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we're afraid of the crowd because everyone considers John to be a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. And he said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. What do you think? A man has two sons. He went to the first and said, my son, go walk in the vineyard today. He answered, I don't want to, but later he changed his mind and he went. Then the man went to the other and said the same thing. I will, sir, he answered, but he didn't go. Which of the two sons did his father's will? They said the first. Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you didn't believe him. Tax collectors and prostitutes did believe him, but you, when you saw it, didn't even change your minds then and believe him. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. He built it. He leased it to tenant farmers and went away. When the time came to harvest fruit, he sent his servants to the farmers to collect his fruit. The farmers took his servants, beat one, killed another, and stoned a third. Again, he sent other servants, more than the first group, and they did the same thing to them. Finally, he sent his son to them. They will disrespect my son, he said. But when the tenant farmers saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and take away his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these farmers? He will completely destroy those terrible men, they told him and leaves his vineyard to other farmers who will give him his fruit at the harvest. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is what the Lord has done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. Whoever falls on this stone will be broken to pieces. 
but on whomever it falls, it will shatter him. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew he was speaking about them. Although they were looking for a way to arrest him, they feared the crowds because the people regarded him as a prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you, O God, for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet. O Lord God Almighty, we come to you, Father, seeking your face. We ask, O Lord, that you speak to us today. We ask that you teach us your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Open our hearts to receive your word, O God. Touch our lives, Father. Make us whole again. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Father. All the lessons that we need to learn from this scripture today, Father, open our hearts to receive them. And let us not just be hearers, but also doers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, I commit myself to your hands. Speak to me, speak through me, and let all the glory and honor come to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning we just read um, Matthew chapter 21. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so it is talking about, um, you know, the different parables here, different things to learn. It's talking about, the first part was talking about the fig tree. The fig tree and how Jesus cursed a tree. And within the fraction of a second, the tree withered. He withered. But look at what look at what he said here after that happened. What he said to his disciples. He says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and you do not doubt, you would not only do what was done to this fig tree, but you will say to this mountain, Be lifted and be thrown into the sea. Other versions would say, Be thou uprooted and be thou cast into the sea. Here he was emphasizing, you know, the disciples were shocked when they saw what happened. When they saw what happened to the tree. Like, what happened? How can the tree just wither so fast? Praise the Lord. And Christ was saying, you know, if you have faith, you would be able to do this. If you have faith, you'll be able to turn around any situation. If you have faith, your words, the words that you speak, will carry power. Will carry power. Be lifted up and be thrown into the sea. And it will be done. If you have faith. And then it goes further to say, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask in my name. You will receive whatever you ask in my name if you believe you know we could stay here we could just stay here for a bit as a matter of fact this could just be for a whole day faith the bible says without faith it is impossible to please god but with faith nothing shall be impossible nothing shall be impossible to them that believe it is important that you believe. It is important that you believe. A lot of people do not reach their capacity. A lot of people are, do not leave their full potential because they don't believe. You don't believe. Praise the Lord. And it's so bad that sometimes some people believe more in us then we believe in ourselves. A lot of Christians do not understand the power that we carry. We don't understand the power. We read the word, yes. We know what the word says, yes. But do we believe? It's one thing to hear or to know. It's another thing to believe. To believe. Believe what the word says. 
Believe what the word says. Even though your situation doesn't seem like it. The Bible says let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Imagine that. Let the poor say I am rich. How can you tell a poor man. A man who is obviously hungry. And homeless. Living on the streets. To say I am rich. But that's what the Bible says. And it's not a mistake that the Bible says that. It's not a mistake that the Bible says that. Because God doesn't see you as in your situation. He doesn't see he doesn't see you as poor. God doesn't see you as, you know, fearful or lacking. He sees you in your potential. He sees you, he sees what he carry, what you carry because he knows what he has deposited on the inside of you. And so that's why he's saying to believe. That's why he said you can do this. Because he knows he created you. He knows what's on the inside of you. If it wasn't so, he wouldn't tell you to be declaring these things. So even though you're in a situation, maybe you're homeless or you're poor, there's physically no cash. He's saying, let the poor say, I am rich. Because that's what I see in you. That's what I see around you. Let the poor say, I am rich. And there's something about the word of God. When you begin to confess it and declare it, everything begins to work. Everything begins to work towards that which you have spoken. There's power in the word. There's power in the word. There's power in the tongue. When we declare something, when we keep saying something, things and situations and systems begin to align. Begin to align according to that which you have declared. That's why it's so important to only speak positive even in the face of adversity. Because what you say is what will happen. You are that powerful. What you say is what you, what will happen. You are that powerful. And so Christ didn't have to call a revival or anything. He didn't have to call a group of people to pray for the fig tree to wither. He just said to the tree, May you never ever, may fruit never ever come from you again. And immediately, the Bible says at once, immediately, the tree withered. And then he said, what was done to this tree, you can do it and much more. If you believe. If you believe. We have to believe what the word of God says concerning us. No matter the situation. No matter what you're going through. No matter what you're going through. You know. What just dropped in my heart. A lot of times when you see people um, behave badly. Like um, people who carry out um, terrible acts. Like going to, to kill people, innocent people and all of those things. It's because they have believed the wrong things about themselves. They have believed the wrong things about themselves. They have believed that they are failures. They have believed that humans are no good. They have believed all the negative things, all the lies of the devil. And I may just round this up here today. And we'll continue the other, the other um, parts another time. They have believed terrible things about themselves. Recently, there was a shooting, a shooting in a school. A child, you can imagine, a child. What thoughts, can you begin to imagine the thoughts 
of that child or anybody else that carry out such dastardly acts is because they have because they have believed the wrong things they have accepted the lies of the devil about themselves and so they don't feel good about themselves and because they don't feel good about themselves they take it out on other people you know so when you when it comes to having faith and believing it's not just uh, with receiving or asking for blessings but believe in what the Bible says about you that you are the light of the world the salt of the earth the Bible says that you are created in the image and the likeness of God you carry the presence and the glory of God wherever you go there's nothing terrible about you when God created you he created you perfect in his image his likeness you carry the mind of Christ you are created the image of the Almighty God can we process that for a bit in the image of God the presence the glory of God on the inside of you can we take that in for a bit so if you're created in the image and the likeness of God how can anything be wrong with you how can you have there's nothing negative about God he's not a liar he's not an adulterer he's not a wicked God he's a good God he's a kind God so God did not just create you in his image he also gave you these characteristics he also put in you his spirit spirit of love joy laughter oneness togetherness spirit of giving happiness and all the good things but because we have believed the lies of the devil because we have been we have been polluted by the lies of the devil we no longer see ourselves as God sees us we have believed that we are failures we have believed that no good thing can come out of us and so we begin to act contrary to our nature contrary to what God has deposited in us there's so much negativity out there it's causing terrible mental issues people acting without thinking the world has been so polluted this was not God origin God's original plan and I didn't really plan to say this but I needed to just mention it because it's heavy on my heart this morning people have gone astray people have been misled terribly so because they don't believe in themselves because of lack of faith so faith do doesn't just have to do with receiving asking and receiving faith ha also has to do with what you think about yourself what you believe about yourself who you believe you are faith is deep faith is deep believe what the Bible says about you in spite of your situation in spite of what you see Christ says if you believe if you believe if you believe the word has already been spoken concerning you the word of God has already been declared concerning you you are the head and not the tail 
You are the city set on a hill, cannot be hidden. The word of God concerning you has been declared already. Question is, do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you see yourself in that light? Do you see yourself as the head and not the tail? Do you see yourself as healed and not sick? Do you see yourself as rich and not poor? How do you see yourself? It goes a long way. If we all saw ourselves the way God sees us, nobody would be going out to kill or to shoot or to do those evil things because there will be no need for that. I feel good about myself. I know who I am in Christ. You are my brother. Why would I want to kill you? Why would I want to hurt you? We have deviated from the plan of God. We have deviated from how God sees us. We need to come back home. We need to come back to believing. We need to come back to God's original plan. We need to come back. We need to begin to see ourselves as children of God, as children of light. We need to begin to see ourselves as children of purpose. Children of purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray for anyone that's going through tough times. I pray for anyone who sees themselves less than what God sees and how less than how God created you less than what God has created you to be if you see yourself any less than that I pray for you today that you are set free from such mindset every lie of the devil that has killed you captive I set you free from it in the name of Jesus every negative word that has been spoken into your life that is affecting you negatively I break you free from there I break that lie I break that chain I break that chain in the name of Jesus I set you free in the name of Jesus because the word of God says that whosoever the son of man shall set free is free indeed I set you free I declare that your mind is restored in the name of Jesus your mind is restored in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that you no longer see yourself as little as empty as good for nothing in the name of Jesus you begin to see yourself as loved as beautiful you begin to see yourself as healed as successful as purposeful in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free from every bondage of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you begin to conquer you begin to dominate you begin to rule you begin to shine you begin to soar like the eagle in Jesus mighty name I decree amen amen thank you God to you be all the glory all right child of God go out there and know that you are created in the image and the likeness of God and just know that God has put you on this earth to dominate to shine forth and nothing less than that that is your portion in Jesus name have a great day bye bye